welcome to Unintentional Harm. We're grateful to have you all here. So we want you to be intentional, right? During this session, what you're gonna hear on today, um, our personal stories and things that we've been through. There's some things, there's some strategies that you're gonna learn that we want you to be able to take with you and consistently do them, right? Somebody say consistency. consistency. Right, motivation gets you going, but discipline and consistency keeps you growing. Roped in Love is actually a business that I started that birthed out of a long, pretty painful journey of fertility issues and fertility. And so me and my husband tried a thousand and one things to have a baby and it took us 13 years to have our miracle baby. We call him Deuce, um, Chad the second. On our journey, there were so many things that I encountered as a black woman that I felt as though I shouldn't have encountered. And so I decided that I wanted to partner with Aurora Healthcare and give a voice to the women that look like me and are often voiceless. Keisha was saying in biblical terms, the Bible talks about a man will leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. They shall become. So you're becoming. You, that means it takes time. So you will not have a perfect relationship. You're becoming. So when you're becoming, that means you work on the relationship. That does not mean that you're going to be perfect. You work to become one. Just like you can learn something, you can unlearn something. We're talking about the black and brown community. A lot of times we were taught what happens in this house stays in this house. That's true. And that's where the trouble comes in at. Because if there's something that's going on in the house that's going to cause some harm, I need to talk to somebody. Whether it's marriage, whether it's a parental relationship, whatever it is. So I think that's the one thing that we really have to unlearn because it's okay to ask for help. If you see somebody in your life where that is a common thing going on, a pattern, be brave, courageous, say it out of love, stay calm, stay empathetic, put yourself in their shoes before you even open up your mouth. And remember, don't blame. And also do your research. The hardest and most dangerous time to get somebody out of a domestic violent relationship is when they're leaving. So once you start saying something, do your research, make sure you have their resources together and have your door open. You don't just talk to them and be like, all right, then I was brave. Absolutely not. You make sure you're ready for them with open arms. So as people, we go through the fire. But a lot of times when we go through the fire, God is trying to find who we are. So what he's doing is he's burning off all the fake stuff that we pretend to be, right? To get to who we are. Because God is not trying to bless who we pretend to be. He's trying to bless we who we are. And in order, and in order to get to that, we have to do the work. So you can fake it all you want, but one thing you can't do is you can't finesse God. So just remember that. One of the things that just stood out to me was, is the whole time to just be at a, at a ministry and, and watch a ministry talk about uh, the things that we need to develop ourselves on a whole nother level, the financial level, um, the, the mental level, and just to see something like this taking place, the shift is just amazing that I see taking place in ministry right now. Unintentional harm created such a safe space and it was so refreshing tonight to hear the locks and the ropers and everybody on the panel just reflect on times and situations where we cause unintentional harm and then it gave me a different shift on mindset and just how to look at different things and so I pray that they continue this journey and create these platforms for people to come out and be inspired and be uplifted and encouraged. So thank you guys. Keep up the great work. Kamisha Bless checking out. Hi there. My name is Anthony and I just attended Unintentionally Harm and I just wanted to say that um, it was impactful. Reflection took place within me and I have a better idea of what I need to do to improve my home life, family life, work life, 
you know, a, a, a lot of change can take place just by the wisdom and the knowledge that was given in this panel tonight, and I'm grateful to God for it. Hey guys, um, my name is India Locke. I'm a college student. I was here at this event and I loved it. It was phenomenal. It was amazing. The different insight that was given into unintentional harm and the ways that we not only unintentionally harm other people, but more importantly, what really spoke to me and stuck out to me was the ways that we unintentionally harm ourselves. And so I... <laughs> I love this event. It was amazing. It was transformational. There were so many nuggets, and I really loved that they were um, they were small ways that I could apply them to my life so that I could become better and I can grow. And so um, I definitely recommend coming out to this event and any future events that you guys host. It was phenomenal, and I'm just so grateful to everyone who put on this event and had a hand in bringing it to fruition. Thank you, thank you, thank you for what you're doing in this community and what you're doing in my own life. I appreciate it. Thank you.